The National Herald publication made headlines on June 12. We all know it was relaunched in Bengaluru by Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi. But did we ponder on how this rehashed version of the 1938 paperwork actually worked to advantage Raga? There are three strategic reasons for this. Numero uno. The first thing that struck me was why Bengaluru? Karnataka is the biggest state in the country where Congress is ruling currently, right? Considering that the party swept the recent by-election in Karnataka, and not to forget, this city is a cosmopolitan one with a good number of English readers too. And hence, moulding their opinion becomes easy. And for what? That brings me to reason number two. With elections drawing near, be it the State Assembly in 2018 or the Lok Sabha in 2019, a Congress-run paper becomes a dire necessity to take on the BJP, right? Under the garb of press freedom that Rahul Gandhi so vociferously stressed on, National Herald can be the right platform to take the BJP head-on. And finally, there are wild rumours that Congress High Command has asked all party members to become paying subscribers of National Herald. While there are no official reports to confirm this, that surely becomes an interesting way to raise funds. So Rahul Gandhi seems to have surely made a calculated move at the right place and at the right time.